Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for tuning in. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching and I really appreciate your support. So in today's video, we're going to talk about pledge loans from Navy Federal. I do have a previous video uh, that briefly talk about pledge loans and secure credit cards. But in this topic, we're going to talk about pledge loans and we're going to go more in depth on how pledge loans actually work and the, the details and steps on how to get a pledge loan. Uh, because I got really good feedback from that video and you guys wanted to know more about pledge loans. So I decided to make this video for you guys. So first, what is a pledge loan? If you haven't watched the previous video that I w did on pledge loans, Basically, uh, a pledge loan is a loan amount that is borrowed from your savings account, and this has to be from a Navy Federal savings account. It is a secured loan, so you will it will be your money, and then you will uh, pay pay it uh, pay it back, and then at the end of your loan term amount, you'll get you'll get that amount back. Um, it is beneficial for those that have no credit history or poor credit history. Uh, this is a good way to build a relationship uh, with your lender or your bank, or of course, with Navy Federal, uh, to build up your credit history. And also, it does not have a credit check for this loan. So let's get right into it. I just wanted to get right into on how to use the pledge loan and the steps on how to get a pledge loan. So... First, you want to make sure that you have a $250 minimum in your savings account before uh, calling um, uh, Navy Federal. Uh, step two, you want to call the customer service rep and you want to basically tell them that you want to open a pledge savings loan with a $250 minimum. Now, it does not have to be $250 minimum. I will go into detail on the, uh, the loan amounts that they offer uh, in the in the, uh, a couple of slides after this. However, I'm just going to say $250 minimum because that is the minimum amount that you need to actually open a pledge savings loan. So it could be any amount. It does not have to be $250 minimum. So step three, the customer service rep will give you the details about the pledge loan. And then they will also give you basically the first payment details. And then you can choose to pay on the due date or before the due date. It's up to you. Then they will give you the length of the term, they will give you the interest rate, and then they will give you the last payment date of that loan. Then step four, you will basically agree to the terms and the customer service rep will place and hold onto the $250 in your savings account. So make sure you, when you do have that $250 in your savings account or any loan amount that you don't touch during this process, and you make sure that it stays in that account during this process. Then the customer service rep will ask where to deposit the $250 um, a loan amount or whatever loan amount that you have. And if you have a checking account with Navy Federal, you will, will likely want to deposit it there. And then they're gonna ask you like if you want to do an auto pay for this loan, I suggest that you do an auto pay because depending on the loan amount or if you're, you know, frequently using that account or if you don't use that account at all, you may forget to pay that loan amount every month. So an auto pay will definitely work in your favor because you're basically basically taking that money and it's going to basically take out the monthly payment, auto pay it. And, you know, I would just basically, basically um, recommend that. But it's an option is really up to you. But I would do auto pay. Um, it's very easy to do. Then the customer service rep will give you a breakdown of the loan details. And then they basically will send you e-documents to your email to sign either the next day or the same day, depending on what time you call. So if you call like after 3 or 4 p.m., it may get processed the next day. But if you call in the morning, they'll likely see those documents in the afternoon. Then the for step eight, the $250 will be in your savings account. And then um, it was basically going to disappear from your savings account and go to the shared pledge loan account, which will appear under your loans and credit section on your, on your online account. So, for instance, I got a screenshot here basically to show you exactly what it's going to look like once you do have the loan 
uh, set up in your credit, uh, set up in your loans and credit account. So here you'll see that shares pledge loan at the very bottom. That loan amount is a thousand dollars. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to deduct from your savings account and it's going to go into your share pledge loan account. So it will disappear, but don't worry, it will come back at the end of your, your loan term. But for now, it's going to be shown there on your shared loans, on your shared pledge loans account under your loans and credit account. OK. Then a couple of days after you make your last payment, like I said, the money will reappear in your savings account for you to use however you want. And your pledge loan installment account will close. So that's basically the steps. Um, they're really short and simple, sweet. Get straight to the detail. If you follow, if you follow these steps, this is how you will get the pledge loan um, very fast. Savings pledge loan. There are basically their loan amount is in tiers. So starting from two hundred and fifty dollars is the minimum, and then if you want to do a six month long, uh, term, then the two hundred it will be two hundred to five hundred dollars. If you want to do a one year term, it will be five hundred and one to a thousand dollars. If you want to do a, a a one and a half year term, it will be a thousand and one to fifteen hundred. In two years, it will be fifteen hundred to two thousand. And this amount must be in your savings account when apl when applying and trying to get this loan. So why get a pledge loan? The benefits uh, will basically be rebuilding your credit history for a positive payment history. You want to establish credit history with every federal. You want to add a loan installment to your credit profile so this is going to really boost up your credit score and really up those accounts on your credit profile and then if you are planning to stay with navy federal and build a really good relationship with navy federal and use their products and services a pledge loan will really help you get future approvals with navy federal and then the good thing about it is that you can also rinse and repeat with a loan a pledge loan so if you finish that one pledge loan you can do it again with a higher tier then you can do it again and keep doing it again and this, this is going to basically build up your accounts which will really boost your score uh, because if you have more than I think like 10 plus counts you're in the green so you're really good uh, so just make sure you keep that positive payment history and just make sure that you build that history with Navy Federal and you'll do really good. You do, you'll do really, really good and your credit will look really sweet. So I did want to give you guys a gift for sticking around in this video and watching my content. I really appreciate your support. So I do have a 24 hour inquiry removal guide. It is 60% off right now. And if you don't know what the 24 hour inquiry removal guide is, I will link the video that basically goes, goes in depth on what it is, but basically it's self explanatory. It basically is an inquiry removal guide that shows you how to get your inquiries removed in 24 hours. And it's basically a step-by-step -step on how to remove the heart inquiries from all the three credit bureaus. These are steps that I took and I got a lot of good results. So I decided to share the information with you guys. And it is very vital that you guys know that each heart inquiry can vary from five to five to 15 points on your credit profile. So it can hinder your credit score if you're just going applying for a lot of things. So if you're that person that has about 14 to 20, 30, 50, inquiries definitely get this inquiry removal uh removal guide it's going to help boost your score fast because once you get those removed your credit score is going to rock it and then also if you plan on applying for lenders if you're planning on getting a house mortgage a car a lot of times you are going to get denied from lenders even if your credit score is good and if you have too many inquiries that's kind of a red flag it basically says that you're applying for too much credit in the amount in, in a short amount of time and you're getting denied so that's kind of a red flag for them so when you do apply for new credit you want to make sure that you get those removed and you want to make sure you get those old inquiries removed that you got denied from so if you get this inquiry removal guide it's going to go in detail and it's going to show you exactly how to do it and yeah so this link is in the description i'm going to actually pin it in the comments as well and make sure you guys check it out 60 percent off right now this sale will not be for long
so get it and I thank you guys for sticking at the end of this video I really wanted to share this gym with you because it's going to help you a lot tremendously so thank you for watching if you really enjoyed this content please subscribe like and comment don't forget to get the 24 hour anchor removal guide and I'll see you guys in the next video and if you have any more questions please leave them in the comment down below I really appreciate it bye